first up at number 10 you want to save your unequipped keys for later at first i didn't know i could even do this but you pick up keys in the dmz and instead of bringing them in with you next time and possibly losing them you can store them and use them for later when you're going in solo and you want to make sure that you get some good loot you can take these keys out here make sure you looked at the name on the key what the key is for and then find that on your map and find yourself some good loot so i'm going with the art museum key and i'm pulling that from my stash putting it in my loadout and bringing it into the dmz now saving all the other ones for later so before we go in there with our key you want to choose the right loadout at number nine i'm going in with the cast off 74u an empty slot i don't want all my hands full okay and i'm also going in with the smoke grenade the proximity mine and my ammo box now why am i choosing these weapons and what have you for my loadout well i've never done one of these fortresses solo before what you're seeing here is where i'm going where i've never gone before i'm not too sure if i'm gonna make it out so i didn't want to go with anything i'm gonna lose like my insured weapon and then i'm gonna have to wait for the cooldown for a while i'm going in with a cast off 74 u because those are a dime a dozen but also i like using them it's not gonna be too big of a deal if i lose it i can pick up another one in my next deployment into the dmz and then i'm going in with an empty slot because i can easily pick up a secondary weapon while i'm out there after i get my cast off 74 u blasting i know i'm gonna be dropping some ai out here because i am going into a fortress this art museum is a fortress so i know i'm gonna be up against some ai and as soon as i drop one i can pick up their weapon whether it be a rpk or what have you i'll show you i get a pretty nice weapon off of these ai but the smoke again i'm going in solo so i mentioned this in a previous video this smoke can save your life this proximity mine can cover your back get the angles that uh, you're not focusing on at the moment so that's why you want to bring those in and then the ammo box you're going to be laying down a lot of fire on these ai you're going to need to replenish that replenish those smokes and those proximity mines because you're going to be using everything in your arsenal against these ai especially when you're going in solo so now that we're all set up we got our key we got our loadout now at number eight you want to use a boat to get there if you scope things out on your map before you go rush in you'll find there's a pretty easy route in if you you know i happen to be spawned right near a boat and then if you look at your map you see that the river goes right up through almost right up to the art museum and the great thing about these boats is they're laying low in the water and a lot of people aren't in the water with you with boats and what have you most people are on the roads or walking around the streets so you keep a low profile you fly under the radar practically and people don't see you most of the time going through the river and if if you do run into some players or AI, it's easy to hop off that boat, go underwater, and you'll lose them quick. So I like using the rivers, I like using the boats for those reasons. You can see here, keep your distance from the shore as you're coming up to the river. Don't get too close. There's an airport here with a lot of action, a lot of AI or player activity. Keeping my distance and I'm going into the river. I picked up another boat, a armored boat. This one has a gun on the back of it, so definitely make sure you're upgrading your boats when you can. If you come across a Jeep, you want to upgrade that ATV to a Jeep because it provides better protection. As you see here, it brings me pretty darn close to the art museum. I hop out, get on shore, and walk towards the fortress. Now you want to move into the fortress slowly at number seven. I pop the door open and there's guys with shields up in there. You want to be ready for that. Don't go rushing in there and be surrounded by these AI. No, let them come to you. As you see, I ran back out and I let them pour out here. I let them come to me then it gets surrounded that way so i hit that side little alley here and they started trickling out and then i could just sit back hang back wait for them to come out one by one pretty much and take them down there in the alleyway as you see i do here with my cast off 74u this thing can spray pretty good i like that take them down and get up around these guys with shields and everything and then that's when i pick up my lms marksman rifle let's see here we go already got a great secondary rifle that i didn't have before now if I'm able to extract with this LMS marksman, it will unlock it in my loadout. I can add it to my insured slot if I want to. And see, I don't play nothing but DMZ. I'm down with DMZ. Yeah, you know me. So, extracting with these weapons that I don't have unlocked through playing the rest of the game is a great shortcut to get all these other weapons. So, I got my LMS marksman rifle. This thing has a nice rate of fire for a marksman rifle. I'm just really dropping 
problem with this thing. As I make my way into the art museum, you want to make sure you loo every floor at number six, loo high and low. So make sure you really explore the entire fortress before you end up leaving. I end up finding a Signal 50 sniper. Like I just got done saying, I'm unlocking everything through DMZ, but I can skip some levels by just picking them up here like I do in these crates and extracting with them. This thing is scary looking. I love it. I end up picking up another key. I'm going to hopefully extract that, save that one for later. But you can see, you can get some great loot. Two guns here from one key mission, fortress mission, whatever you want to call this. I got two guns that were previously locked and an extra key that I can save for another mission another day. Now at number five, you want to leave the area for extraction in a vehicle. So when you're all done looting, bring up that map and ping the nearest good vehicle. Like I said, I would avoid the ATVs. You can really get shot off of one of those easier. So there's a nice little Jeep right here in the parking garage and you want to leave and head for the extraction. So once you make it to the vehicle, if the coast is clear, bring up that map again, ping the extraction you want to head to and start making your way over there. So once you get there at number four, you want to engage any extracting players. You might say, well, I'm going in solo. I want to play it conservative. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want anybody to know where I'm at because I'm going to be outnumbered. This is where you want to engage because their focus is going to be on extracting, not getting in PVP. They're trying to get out. They're not trying to get into any action, really. So you can really catch them trying to run up into the helicopter. Once they're in there, maybe you can hit them if you have the right angle on them. So I'm starting to take my sniper shots. I got this brand new sniper and I'm thinking I can do some great target practice here. This is a great opportunity. I wasn't successful. I was pretty darn far away even for a sniper rifle of this magnitude. So their focus is not going to be on you. If you miss like I did, they're not going to then come hunting for you because they're going to be up and out of there. Either get them or you don't. And if you don't, they're going to be gone anyway. There's not a whole lot of risk to engage. So I would always try to engage. Doesn't matter how many you're trying to extract at once. You might get lucky and get them all. And then you can loot and hey, you're at the extraction. More loot for you right there, ready to go. So at number three, you want to call in a new extraction when the area is clear. You want to make sure there's nobody around you and then get in a position. You want to get in a higher ground at number two because eventually more people are going to be coming in if the coast is clear. It might not be clear forever, so get to higher ground and get ready. Why do you want to get to higher ground? Well, for two reasons. If you do get into an engagement, then you'll have the higher ground where they can just surround you on the first floor rush in real quick no they've got to go upstairs you got your proximity mine so you can booby trap the stairs you can jump off of the roof as well parachute down to a better location or right into your extraction that's what i end up doing no players come here i'm at higher ground already and when the helicopter does land then i can just parachute right down get to the helicopter quick and use your smoke for cover when extracting at number one this is very important all these steps are important they're in sequential order but this is super super important here at number one maybe the most important tip use your smoke for cover when extracting because like i said if i had a different angle on those dudes earlier that i was sniping at maybe to the left shooting right up into the drop down part of the helicopter i could have taken them out and you never know when somebody's gonna have that angle on you so pop those smokes they can't see nothing and by that time by the time your smoke dissipates then you can be up and out of there so that's how you really pull off a great art museum heist here so let's review the 10 steps at number 10 save unequipped keys for later number nine choose the right loadout number eight use a boat number seven move into the fortress slowly number six loot every floor number five leave the area for extraction in a vehicle number four engage extracting players number three call in an extraction when the area is clear number two get to higher ground and number one use smoke for cover when extracting so there you have it guys now as you can see i got two great weapons like i said another key and i just had to take down some ai and i almost took down some players you can do this as well if you follow these steps and hope this helped you guys and until next time this has been rusty fluger rusty fluger over and out